so basically our webinar today is the 24th that we do. It's uh, trending tools uh, for HR for 2023. Uh, we have some great companies. Uh, here we have Deal, Happy Work, Studio. We have Intelli HR and Nacho Nacho. Uh, so you guys will learn a lot about some really interesting tools that can help you uh, make the most out of your distributed teams, uh, hybrid, remote, uh, whatever situation that you are working with. So my name is Lana. I am the head of revenue here at Safety Wing. I'm also a Y Combinator founder and an advisor to many different companies. I have been a remote worker for a very long time, a nomad uh, kind of like person as well as with my family in the last four years. I've been traveling the world, going from place to place. Uh, so I love remote work and I love building remote teams. And I have quite a bit of experience building teams from zero to one. Uh, and making them successful, uh, also building culture around that. Now, the next slide, you'll see why, um, why Safety Wing and why are we here. So Safety Wing does global benefits uh, for your remote workforce. Um, imagine that you have uh, team members in different locations and you want to figure out health insurance. You want to be able to cover them wherever they are and wherever they go. And Safety Wing has solved that uh, for you guys. So you don't have to worry about doing it country by country. So we're building this you know, global social safety net with global benefits that include health insurance, uh, remote retirement, life insurance and disability, remote therapy, et cetera. So you can really give this great benefits package to your team. Uh, awesome. So we have over 100 people now joining us. Um, Charles, do you want to go to the next uh, slide? Uh, in today's agenda, we're going to have a quick poll that we're going to start here in a second. Then we're going to go into the panel discussion. I'm going to invite all of the experts on board. We have four today, which is more than we usually have. So we have a lot to say. Uh, and then we're going to go into the Q&A. So Charles, if you want to start the poll, by the way, Charles is my partner. He's helping me um, at work, obviously, <laughs> and uh, he's going to start this poll. So is your organization borderless? We'd love to hear from you if you choose one of the following. Um, it's really interesting to always see this results after everybody has voted because we can see a trend from when we started this in April 21 to uh, now December 2022. Okay, did everyone vote? Excellent. Okay, so uh, yeah, the majority of you are in three or more countries currently, uh, and maybe 20% says no, and we don't have plans to become borderless, and so that's fine as well. So we're gonna have something uh, to discuss today for everyone. And we're really excited to share that with you. But uh, this is really cool to know uh, the makeup of the group so that we understand how to lead our panel. Now, without further ado, let's invite everyone on. So I have Ty here first, and then everybody else can. Yeah, perfect. Ty, please take the floor. Tell us a bit more about you and Deal and uh, why you should be on this panel to talk about tools. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, my name is Ty Ratigan and I lead partnerships at Deal. Uh, Deal is a, a company that helps people hire anyone anywhere. Uh, so we, we ha ourselves have in the region of 2000 employees uh, distributed around almost 100 countries. Um, we don't have really any offices or headquarters at all. We operate a fully distributed team remotely. Um, and so I think uh, as, a, as a company kind of living and operating this ethos, uh, excited to be on this panel. Also, uh, the partnerships team at Deal, we work with all of our uh, product and integration partners, including uh, yourselves. Uh, and so we uh, touch lots of the technology companies that, and tools that we're going to talk about today through integrations and through our customers' workflows. Um, so, yeah, excited about this topic and uh, to be on this panel with everyone. Welcome, welcome. Uh, ben, do you want to go next? You've been sure. up very uh, early for us, by the way. Ben is in Australia. Yes. He's uh, joining us from Australia. It's true, living that remote work dream for sure. Um, so yeah, Ben, I manage our uh, North 
uh, North American and uh, UK sales teams at IntelliHR, and we're a HRIS system uh, covering offboarding, onboarding, uh, HR admin, performance, and all of the processes in between. Um, we've got a best of breed approach, so um, I guess I could have some helpful ideas for people just around um, systems that you can use and sort of bolt on the HRIS. Um, we work with uh, leading best of breed tools across uh, a lot of the topics that we're looking at today. So um, I'm excited to be uh, introducing some of those to you guys. Amazing. Thank you, Ben. And um, Johan, you are next there, but Mina is also on the thing. So you go first, Johan, since you're like in the video and then Mina can go last. Yeah, thank you. I'm uh, Johan Talman. I manage partnerships at uh, Nacho Nacho and we are a fintech powered B2B SaaS marketplace, and we help companies to manage, discover, and um, purchase software through our marketplace and our power them through our virtual credit card system to purchase software and uh, manage that process and streamline it internally. And uh, my expertise on the panel, I speak to many, uh, I speak to probably 100 SaaS vendor throughout the months to build partnership through our marketplace and uh, most, some of them are HR tools and some of them are recommending today specifically where I have partnerships and we are aware of this company and these are great tools especially coming from more the remote emerging segment and I'm excited to be part of the panel. Excellent. Welcome. Yeah, uh, Nacho Nacho is really cool. You can see there all of the different SaaS um, platforms that you can use and uh, they also have good deals there for you. So if you guys want to check them out, I know deal is on there. We're on there and a few others. Um, let's, uh, Mina, would you like to go next and tell us a bit more about you? Sure. Hi, I'm Mina. I'm calling in from Istanbul, Turkey. And uh, with Happy Work Studio, we help companies and individuals to transition to remote, remote first hybrid uh, work structure and help the companies to revamp their uh, culture, values, and the processes so that everything is aligned. I'm also head of community at Vertesan, which is a US-based cloud consultancy company where I am managing a community of 200 plus cloud engineers. So how uh, I, what I bring into this panel is I have been in the space of uh, remote work and the future of work since 2012. And I have been working with several different companies, being an executive and also running companies, consulting companies. So uh, I have been intersecting with so many of those service providers, including Deal. At Vertisant, we use Deal, so I'm a Deal end user. And uh, also Safety Wing, coincidentally, uh, is our first sponsor for uh, an event that we are going to do uh, in May. So I kind of like have been familiar with those brands and happy to be here. Amazing. Welcome, everyone. We have some great variety of um, experiences, of teams here. So please feel free to um, direct certain questions to certain people here as we start the panel. Um, Charles, I guess maybe we'll go into this. Uh, obviously tools are super important for to, to get your job done wherever you are, whether you're a remote company, distributed, hybrid, in office only. Um, I love tools and technology because they make your life easier. And uh, we have kind of um, put these tools in different buckets to help you uh, kind of like understand which ones we use for what and uh, the panel today will go through all of the different buckets so we put 10 of these buckets together and uh, the people on the panel the experts will kind of share with you which tool they use from what we're showing here and uh, why do they use it and how it's helpful but in a short way so that we can get through all of them uh, and then of course as you have questions just drop them in the comments and then we'll add them to a spreadsheet to make sure we answer them at the end uh, okay, so starting with the first one, uh, when you start to, uh, you know, obviously you need to hire people. I know right now we're, you know, in a downturn, so many people are letting people go. However, there is still companies out there that are doing well and they're hiring people. Uh, we saw that in 2021, there was a huge boom of, um, you know, hiring, and we don't know when that next boom will be around the corner. So it's good to know which tools are the best uh, for that process. Um, here we have uh, quite a few of them, maybe like 12 or more. 
and uh, would love to see if any of you guys would like to share with us which one you use for your company. I know at Safety Wing we use Pinpoint quite a bit because um, uh, it's a an easy platform to use and also um, as employees get referral bonuses they're able to put their like special link there so you can connect the referrer uh, you know to the employee that referred them so that's uh, something I can just start with but I'd love to hear from you guys. Yeah, I want to chime in on Overpass. Uh, we've built a great partnership with them. And what is really unique about Overpass is they enable companies to act globally, especially giving them access to business development and sales development staff on a contract basis that could be very short term, two weeks, or as they, we've seen a case where a company from Germany, they expanded into the US and they needed to expand very fast and they had access to, I think they hired 12 SDRs overnight and they have, all of them are pre-trained so you can really get going very fast. Sometimes that process can be very tedious and you have to put a lot of resources into hiring but they really enable you to gain access to a, a pre-qualified staff and you can be up and running within days and uh i just have to put some you, time in johan does this go into like staffing agencies like is it kind of like a staffing agency overpass like a hybrid model kind of, because you can start out with a very uh very uh, short-term relationship but if you feel like this is someone you want to work with long term then you can also hire that person full-time thanks I am hearing that staffing agencies are doing quite well right now. So obviously a lot of people are hiring through staffing agencies. Anyone else uh, on any tools here? I can go next. So I mean, for me, because I have been working with the distributed teams, I have been mostly focusing on uh, the, the platform that uh, are just like providing remote jobs. So we work remotely It's really like, I would say like one of the largest marketplaces for that, where you can just like, you know, on both the, the candidate side and on the company side and that to get visibility. LinkedIn still, I think, uh, although like there are all kinds of, you know, jobs and, uh, you know, uh, candidates is like a vast place, but still, if you uh, have the tools, the, the recruiter tool, you can just like fine tune and find those people. And it's more like, you know, personal you can just like you know reach out to those people the candidates have uh you know messaging and like more intimate uh talk the muse i chose that one because like it's both a combination of like the large companies there are like some large companies there too and and some like you know startups and also uh at, like all sizes so i have been just like using that platform too at Bertesan, we use greenhouse and uh that's also uh like you know comes handy if you want to have a referral program in the company so that you're awarding your uh internal folks to uh for any referrals so that has been one of the things that really worked on our side ben or ty so, yeah i'll um <clears throat> i'll jump in so um, yeah, I guess uh, the the main sort of theme for the three that I added there, which were job adder, pinpoint, and lever, um, is really just having a, a best of breed tool to be able to manage your applicant tracking. Um, because I think you know these these tools and some of the others I see here, which I'm not familiar with yet, but I'm looking forward to looking into. Um, I guess the thing is they're really leading the charge with best sort of features for applicant tracking, um, being able to give your candidates a great experience and uh, also giving you tools that you can use to make sure that you retain people uh, once they, they come on board and start their onboarding process. Um, to give you some ideas and some things that do stand out, um, Job Adder is very focused on uh, the proactive sort of sourcing of people and uh, it does have some really powerful AI based talent tools uh, talent pool, sorry, uh, so that you can you can search for people that are suitable for you. Um, Pinpoint, it's got uh, integrated recruitment marketing campaigns and a big focus on admin elimination as well. So your recruitment team doesn't have to focus so much on uh, the minutia and the, pay, uh, the paperwork, but instead they can uh, focus on getting you the best talent. 
Um, and Levers just got some really simple analytics because there can be a ton of analytics that you have um, to sort of go through to manage your applicant tracking process and uh, really like the interface for Lever as well. So um, those are a few definitely worth checking out if you're looking for an applicant tracking system. Awesome, yeah, and then uh, a few of these have already been touched on. So I'll just talk about uh, Test Gorilla as the last one. So, you know, when you're uh, hiring people remotely, uh, you know, there's a lot of distractions. It's easy to, um, you know, not necessarily run as tight an interview process as if you were doing it in person with someone. Uh, and so something like Test Gorilla is really great for getting uh, objective understanding of someone's uh, skills. And so they have a bunch of different assessments that you can build for different candidate processes. So customer success, sales, uh, partnerships, um, you know, assess for relationship management skills, sales skills, problem solving, cognitive abilities, all sorts of things. And so it, I think uh, tools like these are really valuable. Uh, one, in general, when you're hiring remotely, Two, if you want to run a really objective process, which I think is really important for everyone. And then lastly, especially when you're dealing with people from different countries and different cultures, and maybe you're not as uh, familiar with uh, the kind of cultural practices, you have this uh, basis that you can uh, assess people's abilities on. So love Test Gorilla. There's a few other products like that on the market as well, and that I think really help people run a tight process. That's very cool. Um, we use uh, we usually do like a test uh, task with everyone that we hire, uh, but uh, this test gorilla it make maybe streamlines the process much easier and makes it more objective. Like you said, that's really cool. We're gonna check this out. Uh, awesome. Uh, I guess we should go to the next one because we have ten of these recommendations and we're all uh, only the first one. So now, obviously, onboarding is a huge thing. I think for also longevity of employees and contractors for a company and how you do onboarding uh, can make or break uh, a new, new hire's experience. Uh, I know that at GitLab, they have like, I don't know, 200 processes for the onboarding of like one uh, new hire, which could be a lot for some, uh, but maybe there's like a sweet spot there in between for all of you to have a couple of quick tips in terms of how to do that right uh, in a way that makes people engaged and happy and hopefully stay with the company for as long as possible uh, so maybe i don't know ben if you want to lead the charge here with intelli hr oh yeah absolutely so um i think something that's important to have in an onboarding process is just uh the flexibility in your system to be able to build basically any form um, and then to be able to put it into a workflow that's you know obviously customized for the role or the location or um, the, the sort of um I suppose nuances you have across your business. Um, so that's that's a big focus for us at IntelliHR, being able to to do that. Um, and the thing we do in implementation, which is a little bit different, is we run design thinking workshops. I wanted to add that is something that could be worth uh, popping into Google to have a look at, because some of those uh, processes in design thinking can be really useful for um, essentially redesigning and building a process from the ground up, like onboarding, that would uh, would mean that you can just remove the steps that you don't need and, and put in some of the sort of nice to haves that you might have across your project team that's working on onboarding. So um, that's something uh, a little bit different that we do, um, but yeah, obviously important, uh, sorry, onboarding is super important just to make sure that you're, um, you're retaining people beyond that point and, and moving them into the rest of the employee life cycle. I also want to highlight WorkWise. Uh, we've built a partnership with them as well, and it's a great company. They streamline the process for giving employees access to all the remote tools. So uh, they would have, they centralize all the warehousing for all the hardware. Someone needs a monitor, you're working with them in Brazil, then they will ship that off, and they also do the on and off boarding process pretty streamlined, especially as companies started to go remote first. I think there was a challenge specifically when it came to when it came to uh, distributing computers, monitor, and swag and things like that, and they really streamlined that process, um, which is also helpful, especially uh, when companies started expanding globally. Uh, most of the time. Their value proposition was really that employees started 
kind of getting into that process, getting reimbursement. They had to ask them to buy a computer and then submit the receipts and they really streamlined that process to make that more easy to gain access to uh, software and hardware products and uh, also swag and things like that. Great. Uh, Mina or Ty, anything here or should we move to the next one? We're good. Okay. Uh, Charles, can we go to the next one? Excellent. Okay, so now we have employee engagement. Uh, there's a few interesting ones here. Obviously, we have uh, Ben that can talk about IntelliHR, and then um, 15 5 keeps coming up a lot. So maybe, Johan, you can tell us a bit more about that. Uh, and then, Ty or Mine, if you guys have something here, you can go. You want to go yeah. first, maybe, Johan? Yeah, and especially 15.5, I mean, it, it's it's a well-known name, and I think the the highlight of 15.5 is especially OKRs is something that came up, and it's pretty, I would say, with remote work, it was important before, but most companies really started implementing OKRs when they switched to remote first, because it became an element not only of engagement, but also uh, measuring employee performance and 15.5 does a really amazing job of offering a platform for OKRs, performance management, and especially employee engagement. Because I think with the remote, um, going remote, fully remote, and companies are starting getting disengaged in a way of, uh, of performance is driven by certain metrics, but it's very hard to measure that for some of the companies, especially when it comes to uh, teams who work on, who have to be very self-sufficient. Uh, you're not working on a task where, you, where you're measured on your specific outcome on, 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 on products you produce, sometimes with sales teams or marketing teams, uh, their outcome is, is measured on different levels and it could also be long term and that also comes uh, with impulse is very similar. Uh, they also help with really engaging with employees and, and uh, bringing a reward system in that process and in the same line of I think that's a common problem and maybe Ben and Mina would be able to chime in on that because I think with with the remote work environment, it becomes very challenging also to engage employees in a meaningful way. Uh, in, in, a, in a classic work environment, you could engage on a one-to-one on -one level, but being, being far away from each other, I think we run into problems of disengagement and impulse does a really good job of, of uh, bringing the teams together, bringing a reward system into their platform, but also engaging on a one-to-one -one level. And I think communication okay. um, yeah. that are very helpful, but uh, I think there are other ways to bring meaningful engagement in, in their workplace. Mini, Ben, or Ty, do you guys have something to add? So I have been using some tools with the company companies uh, that I'm doing project and two of them are actually one is based in the UK is called Sorwe and the other one is Impactivo and there is uh, also the Juno so there are some tools that are uh, keeping as Yon was uh, and Ben was mentioning that some of them are just like you know the ones that are keeping the employees engaged in a way that they are feeling like their well-being levels are uh, getting higher the other ones are for tracking purposes and so that uh you know everyone's in line with the the company purpose with the company goals and so the ultimate goal is to keep them engaged and with these two uh of them that i mentioned with both survey and impactivo they're uh focusing on the company values and so making sure that everyone's living by those values and so it starts with the company purpose and the value. So, and the recognition tool is also making sure that the people are getting recognized for the things that they do. So like doing those shout outs and also like doing those gestures and just like, you know, uh, the giving each other those cards of recognition so that they are just like, you know, nurturing this culture within the company through uh, peer support as well. 
So I would definitely recommend and we will be seeing more of these tools. By the way, I forgot one of them, Culture M is also we've been using Culture M with some of our clients. And so I think it's really important to listen to the employees and that's what these tools are doing. They're doing uh, pulse surveys, continuous ongoing uh, assessments with the engagement levels and being proactive rather than reactive to uh, the, the engagement levels of the employees. Yeah, we, we've used similar tools to Impulse and uh, also uh, Culture Amp in the past for surveys and employee pulses and found it super helpful, especially when you run a really large distributed organization. Being as we're growing very fast, you know, we still operate as a startup, even though we're kind of a larger company these days. And it's a really good reminder sometimes to focus in on the needs of the team. You know, you would hear those things around the office, but when you're remote, you don't hear them. And so it's great to get, gather them through these types of tools. Uh, and then you can act on it really easily. Like, you know, we're, we're running a bunch of uh, holiday parties based on good feedback or a gifting program based on good feedback that we received in these types of things. So super valuable. Very cool. Yeah, we you we use Lattice. Um, I don't know if you guys have the L A T T I C E. Uh, that's been very helpful for us. Uh, but Ben, did you have something to say before we move on to the next? Yeah, um, just quickly. Um, I, I think we can all agree. Like continuous feedback is a really important thing. Um, and uh, and something that I've seen really useful is uh, capturing engagement information as people are onboarded. Uh, also when they exit the business and being able to see in sort of graphs and charts what sort of trends that you're getting in terms of people that you're hiring, how they're fitting in, um, whether they're getting the help that they need and things like that as well. So, um, yeah. Excellent. Thanks, guys. I think we have seven more um, kind of like things to go through. So, uh, Charles, can you go to the next one? Okay, so now we have employee analytics and performance. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, in space and attuned, who can speak to these two? Uh, so I've met the team from attuned and I just want to highlight their product. Uh, they are providing a tool. Uh, it's based on psychological assessments, interesting for especially the remote teams, but their goal is to understand employees on a deeper level. Uh, so you have, they can align employees based on their values. So some employees are more based on safety or income, and then other employees are more driven by, uh, could be factors of uh, helping the company grow. And so everybody in the company, everybody, your employees has a different level of, of motivation, and they're aligning that motivation with the, with, the, with the employee development and then bringing also those values back to the management where you might work with someone uh, they have a different value than someone else, or they might have different goals in that position. And they do psychological assessments based on each employee, and then they hand that to uh, management or someone you work with. So you know, sometimes just behind the name and the face, you don't really know what their motivation is. And they highlight those factors, and they bring them into, into the corporate development process. Got it. In space. Did you guys do you guys have any thing to say here or not? Nope. Okay, Charles, let's go to the next one. Uh, okay, so training and LMS. Um, we've got Udemy, Kineo, Go One together. Who can speak to any of these? <laughs> So I can talk about Udemy, uh, although they started as a B2C product, now they are also working B2B. And I love the fact that they're providing that flexibility. I think flexibility is really key when you're providing something to your employees. So they get to choose whatever they want. If they want to focus on their self-development, they can just like choose from that. Or if they want to just like, you know, excel in what they're doing, they can just like, uh, choose from that. So I love the flexibility and the, the variety of training provided
located on Udemy. So that has been my uh, experience. By the way, we are also using a Cloud Guru for cloud training. I know that's really specific, so I didn't want to specify that, but whoever is listening to us, if they are into cloud space, if they have cloud engineers, that's also uh, really a, a good tool for uh, getting uh, ready for the, the uh, cloud provider exams and to, to get certified. Great. Uh, I think the most exciting things are coming up. So, uh, you know, we can go into collaboration uh, because I think this is where a lot of us have to say a lot of things. Uh, and then the next are async communication, payroll, contracts and taxes, uh, benefits administration and benefits in general. Uh, so we'll spend a bit more time here in the next you know, 10 to 15 minutes, and then we'll uh, ask some questions for you guys. Uh, now, collaboration is a big thing, obviously, for remote uh, companies and distributed uh, teams, hybrid. Uh, we use Notion uh, quite a bit at uh, Safety Wing. We document everything on there, anything from goals to onboarding to projects, everything runs on Notion for us. Um, we use Teamflow quite a bit in terms of meetings, so we do two meetings a week uh, with our strategy team that happens on Mondays and Thursdays for two hours a day. And uh, that all happens on Teamflow. Uh, so that is basically where we're all on video. The whole team is uh, together and we go through different things that we want to discuss during that week. Uh, and those tools have been super, super helpful for us. Canva to put together like maybe quarterly reports or things like that has been really helpful for us and me and my team. Uh, so just wanted to talk about uh, those uh, things there. But our team also uses Mural, Miro, and Figma as well, I know. So uh, I'll let you guys ch chime in with what's been helpful for your teams. Yeah, I can go next. Uh, so we're, we're, we're definitely very heavy Google Suite users at Deal, um, you know, between uh, Docs, Sheets, also Google Meet. We use the whole platform a lot. Um, it's really easy to onboard people. I think people, it, you know, it, there's, there's a great thing about people using tools for their personal life and then also being able to use them for work. And so the onboarding is a really low lift uh, for that platform, which is uh, great for us really you know but we're hiring people very quickly uh, and so uh, we, we need to be able to onboard and have people ramp pretty quickly you already mentioned a couple of the other tools that we love we, we use Figma a lot internally when we're collaborating on work uh, also Salesforce is adopted it's probably the only tool on here that's more of a, of a like a legacy technology but still the best in the space I would say and our team uses it really hev heavily both from a sales perspective but also account management and customer success as well so everyone has really good visibility on who we're speaking to in an account and the touch points that we're having and uh, you know even from a partnerships perspective how our partners can help out as well we have a couple of other tools that we uh, have um, integrated with Salesforce also, which are really helpful for us and the team. Very cool. Ben, you know, I can go next. We we have been using Notion, Almanac, Miro, Miro, Figma, Kama. I mean, all of these. Are, we are a big fan of Google Suite as well. I mean, I think this uh, it's all about integration. I think the best tool is the one that gets integrated to as many other tools as possible. So I, that's, for that fact, I love using Miro because it has all those integrations. And um, also Canva, it's really, it comes uh, handy with the, the pre-made templates. We've been using for, uh, Almanac for uh, document reviews, uh, asking for like uh, sign-offs and also uh, preparing, I have been working with them for uh, some uh, com with some companies who wanted to get their remote policy, the handbook, culture handbook. So they have templates, pre-built templates, so it was easy to use. And um, I think collaboration is key when you go remote. We cannot emphasize it enough, the importance. So, I mean, we've been using all of these tools and looking forward to, I think we will have even more in the upcoming years. Excellent. If you guys don't have more, we can skip to the next one or? Yeah, I'll just one do a big quick one. shout out to Asana was, we've been, uh, Asana was missing on that because I think for a lot of, for a lot of teams, that's a big, big collaboration tool 
just uh, I would say in line with Notion, super easy to use very quickly with the onboarding process and uh, especially com companies coming from that legacy platform, uh, Confluence or Jira, where it's a little bit more tedious. So I think Notion and Asana, definitely my favorites. And Trello I'll just too. To Miro, because we already use basically everything that's on that uh, slide, but Miro helps to make things really visual. So if you have like a redesign of a process in a business or you're wanting to integrate uh, tools, you can actually set up a, a visual diagram of how all of your systems integrate together um, using Miro. And, and that helps us a lot with our customers to do that. Excellent. I do want to get to um, really like payroll contract and taxes because it's going to be interesting, but let me go through uh, async communication. Obviously, this is very important. I love async. Uh, we don't have to be all in the same meeting. Uh, I think we have too many meetings already. So whatever we can do to reduce meetings and give people deep work time, it's super important for every team out there. Uh, and what you can do to uh, replace meetings is using obviously Slack and being very clear about what you need uh, and checking in to see if somebody else can help you versus telling them, hey, can you jump on a call and let's make let's do a meeting. Uh, also, another great tool is Loom. I'm sure a lot of you use it uh, to show uh, process, to show onboarding, to show all kinds of things. You can use Loom very easily and it can eliminate uh, meetings for everyone. Uh, but if you guys have anything you want to add extra, otherwise I'll go to the next one. Cool. Uh, let's go to the fun part. So payroll benefits. This is something that a lot of people are super interested in because obviously you know, they're hiring globally or they need great talents and they think like, oh shoot, like how do I do all of this um, hiring and contracts and taxes and compliance? You know, do I need to set up different entities in different parts of the world or can I just do it through something like Deal, for example? I know at Safety Wing we use Deal quite a bit and it's super easy. I love just like starting a contract done in five minutes. I don't have to worry about it and then it just automatically pays um, the contractors. Uh, so, yeah, I'd love to have Ty here give us a, a quick uh, rundown on deal and how um, everyone can use it, uh, potentially. Awesome. Yeah, and I think uh, we're representing part of this on the call today with, uh, I think everyone here is um, working in different locations from when where they were born, uh, or it definitely has done in the past. Uh, and so, yeah, you know, we really believe that talent is global. And you touched on Lona at the start of this call, the, um, you know, the shifting macro environment and how companies are having to, you know, having to look uh, and be creative in order to be able to continue to grow their teams in what's a, a toughening market environment. And so we believe talent is everywhere. And the best way to be able for companies to be able to compete and grow is to be able to access the global workforce and so deal makes it really really easy for companies to be able to do that i myself was employed through a deal in the past as well um when i was the gm of a finland-based startup and was opening their us office it, you you think if you're a small mid even enterprise company and you're looking to be able to tap sales resources in latin america or be able to hire engineers all around the world rather than just in the silicon valley uh, the deal makes it really easy to hire those people compliantly pay them in the currencies that they would prefer even in uh, crypto if they would prefer that too uh, and we also provide a bunch of benefits on the back end of that that just make it a really pleasant enjoyable experience for those employees whether they're contractors or full-time employees, uh, you know, we want those people to have the type of experience that they would have if they were full-time uh, in a headquarters in the US or the UK or wherever else. Um, and so, um, yeah, the, the, we're, we're seeing actually the, the global hiring accelerate significantly. Um, in our last report, we did 145% uh, growth uh, on global hiring, particularly in LATAM and APAC, uh, as people look around the world to be able to grow their workforces. Uh, and then we, I'll touch on Zero as well while I'm here, because we have uh, we work quite closely with Zero. Uh, we have a tight integration with them um, from an accounting perspective. You know, Deal kind of uh, manages compliance, payroll, 
Uh, we also help with mobility, visas, and a bunch of other things now. Uh, Xero is a really nice integration that we have uh, from an accounting perspective that just makes it, again, really simple for founders to be able to grow their companies without having to worry about all of these really tricky parts of the business. Wait, Ty, really quickly, uh, do you, what about taxes? Because this is something that's quite uh, big for a lot of people. I don't know if we have something on there here, but I know like the work from anywhere company does a lot of things with uh, taxes, uh, John Lee there. Do you guys have a certain kind of like company that you recommend when it comes to taxes? Yeah, we, we have a really extensive network of uh, ta HR, tax, compliance, legal uh, service providers that we work closely with um, all around the world. Uh, so for our partner network uh, covers pretty much any uh, country that you could possibly want to operate in from a taxes perspective. Um, we you. also support the contractors. Uh, so we have a great integration with QuickBooks as well. So that's why that's here. Um, oh, okay. But we help out uh, a lot on the contractor side with making sure that they can uh, fulfill their taxes and they're compliant in their regions as well. And so it just removes, uh, if you're using Deal already, you probably know, but it just removes all of that headache um, yeah. from having to be worrying about uh, yeah, the legal compliance and taxes. Um, and whether it's the tools that people need, whether it's the services that you described, like uh, legal or accounting support or pretty much anything else we have that among our uh, 2,500 partners. Wow that's great because uh, this is something that's holding people back is like how do I you know expand globally how do I like my people work from anywhere and this is the big thing you know tax compliance obviously and then benefits uh, that's what we're going to go further into but uh, Mina did you have something to say before we move to the next? Yeah, so I want to add a couple of things. Being an end user of Deal, so the the uh, the perks st I think is amazing because they keep adding on top of those perks. So you, if you are a Deal user, you can get the benefit of those perks. That's one thing. The other one is the payout methods. I love it. You can get uh, your payouts in crypto. You can get it to your local bank. You can get it to your Deal card. Deal card was in beta. I think you're still like holding that. But I mean, you have all those options and you can just like, you know, change it uh, per payout. So like you don't have to just like, you know, choose it permanently. You can just like, you know, have partial payouts and choose your method of payout. So I think that has been really perfectly working for me. Amazing. Great <laughs> testimonial, which we didn't expect. <laughs> awesome. Uh, OK, so Charles, let's go to the next one because we don't have a lot of time left. Um, I'd love to kind of dive uh, deeper into, um, you know, the benefits administration and obviously, you know, deal come up here in Nacho Nacho. So I'd love to hear from both Ty and uh, Johan maybe first. Uh, but yeah, we, we integrate with Deal and also we are working on getting uh, State Doing into Nacho Nacho. I know Deal is also Nacho Nacho. So uh, these are some, you know, great platforms where you can administer uh, benefits in a way that is compliant. I know Deal is, I'm not sure, I guess, uh, of the others, but I'm sure you guys can talk through them. Let's yes, see, Johan. Yeah. Uh, so classically, you know, we are, um, our virtual card system is used to pay for mainly software subscriptions. Uh, but what we've seen actually a trend that our customers and we have on, on, the, on the platform usage, we have around 40,000 businesses who use Nacho Nacho. And uh, what we've seen is some of our customers are using the virtual cards to actually distribute global benefits to their employees. For example, if they have someone they work with in Brazil, but they want to really level the playing field where they have a hybrid office or an office in a certain city, so they want to expand those benefits to some of the employees who work remotely, for example, offering lunch. And instead of going through a cumbersome process of reimbursement, and some employees, they are even if you offer those benefits, uh, they're not really wanting to go through that process, or sometimes the, it's done through sending gift cards, things like that, and we make it very easy to uh, within one click, create a virtual credit card and they can be distributed to any of your employees worldwide where Visa is accepted and that's probably in most of the cases. And then that uh, you can offer and expand those benefits you offer in your office. That could be even after our happy hour, things like that, where 
I feel like if you work remotely and you're connected to a main office, you really feel left out. And we give uh, those yeah. companies the ability to distribute those benefits globally. That could be a gym membership or anything you really offer in your main office that could be expanded through the okay. virtual cards. Great. Uh, I know we don't have a lot of time and there's quite a bit of questions, guys. So, um, Charles, if we can go to the next slide. Uh, and then we'll just briefly touch on uh, benefits, um, which we see here, like gym pass, honestly, I think there's a ton of them, but really in terms of what employees and contractors value more, what we see is obviously health insurance. It's like this benefit that everyone really offers these days and being able to have access to something that uh, can be good in 180 countries is huge, especially for administrators because they don't have to worry about negotiating different deals uh, country by country. They just have one you know, platform, one, one place they go to and administer these benefits, which would be you know, deal or uh, nacho nacho and uh, super easy to access. But um, obviously there's so many benefits out there. You know, we have a you know, plant uh, kind of like benefit that we get $100 a year where you can get a nice plant. Uh, you have certain vacation days that you have to offer and these are legally required. Uh, and then there's perks, which um, we can talk about, like, you know, lunch and, uh, uh, you know, like your self-development budget and all kinds of different things uh, that you can offer as perks. But there is a difference between benefits and perks. Uh, benefits are more, more like must-haves and then perks are nice-to-haves. Um, so definitely a good there to do a distinction. But uh, let's, let's jump into the questions, guys. There are some really interesting ones. Uh, the first one we have here is uh, from someone saying, is it possible to hire internationally as a W-2 person? Uh, Ty, maybe that's a good question for you. Uh, so again, it's, uh, is it possible to hire internationally as a W-2 person? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm assuming they mean uh, to have someone as a W-2 employee uh, uh, through like internationally and yes that's definitely possible. Deal offers, uh, we, we call that our employee record service uh, and it uh, allows you to be able to hire people um, full-time uh, as W-2 employees under one of our entities uh, in the US. Um, so yes that's absolutely possible and something that we offer. Awesome. Uh, another question coming up here and Feel free to put more questions, guys, because we're in that part right now where we'll answer all the questions. Is uh, any payroll platforms for small businesses? Um, obviously, we were mentioning deal, but maybe Ty, you can describe for us like how does it scale? Like, is it less expensive when you start, and it's uh, you know it, it works well for small companies, or is it only for big companies? Um, that would be a good question to answer. Yeah, sure. I mean, so I think it's incredibly affordable and scalable. Uh, you know, uh, the the baseline for an independent contractor is in the region of uh, fifty dollars a month. Um, you know, uh, which in order it, to be able to get someone set up on uh, day one and uh, using using working for your team straight away uh, for fifty dollars a month is seems like a great deal to me um uh, and then for employee of record uh, you know in the region of kind of 400 500 dollars um and so uh, both of those i think are quite affordable and scalable for any size company um and 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 though i think the uh you know economies of scale uh, of some of the other services that we offer really come into play as a company gets larger from a compliance and legal and mobility standpoint but yeah our our founders went through YC as well, uh, startup people, and wanted to make sure that uh, everything that we offer is available to startups. And I would say like a large percentage of our customers today are startups hiring international sales, engineering, product and design talent around the world. Uh, and so, yeah, definitely accessible to small companies. Yes, and also to be fair and equitable to everyone, there is, um, you can just Google that as well, like, you know, EORs or PEOs, and you'll find what's best for you. Um, obviously, you know, we have a you know, deal representative here and a few on the panel use that service, uh, but also feel free to do your own research and see what might be best that fits, you know, your needs. Um, some other ones were mentioned here, like Gusto, et cetera, from the um, people that joined. Uh, okay, so do you have any recommendations for an HRIS that combines these tools as much as possible? Uh, because what this person is frustrated with is that you know, are there some good integrations so that one doesn't have to use so many different tools? 
Uh, I see this uh, as a frustration a lot of times, and that's why you know platforms like Dia will combine all of those. Uh, I know that you guys are working on HRIS um, system, so maybe you can talk to us a little bit about that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I know it's a lot of tie right now, a lot of questions for you. Yeah, well, yeah. Thank you for all of the questions. Um, yeah, I think the Ben mentioned already that they take a best of breed approach to tools, and I think um, all of, like all of the partnerships folks here uh, would advocate for the same. I do think at Deal specifically, we are working on bringing some of these tools and processes together in a collaborative way. Um, the reality is that uh, you know we've used different tools ourselves and uh, have really struggled with them as a remote distributed company and so have built a solution that works really well for us that we're excited to offer to other companies as well so you'll everyone will see more about that uh, coming in the near future it'd be excited to share more um but it's it, uh, i understand the pain point in the question uh, it's a real challenge for everyone and excited that we're going to have a solution for that shortly yeah, um, just to add to that, I mean, <clears throat> at IntelliHR, we would always recommend checking out all-in-one options and best of breed, uh, because depending on your needs, uh, you know, one or the other could be better for you. Um, but um, but I think uh, some of the traditional disadvantages with uh, having multiple systems are starting to be overcome by really powerful integrations. Um, and just to give you an example, with uh, some of the applicant tracking systems we spoke about before, um, when they send us information about an employee, they can tell us which uh, role or which location they work in, and then our system can automatically trigger the right onboarding process for them. So you don't have this problem of you know going into one system and needing to do one thing and then going into the other system and, and doing another. So uh, there are some really cool things that are, that are starting to take place in terms of integrations between best of breed systems. So, uh, so definitely include them in your um, exploration of, of new systems. Excellent. We uh, have a few more questions and we only have five minutes, so we might not be able to answer all of them. Uh, so the next one is, what tools are you using for employee engagement and psychological assessment, please? Somebody, employee engagement and psychological assessment. Yeah, I think attuned. I mentioned Hi, that yes. that's probably a good platform to check out because they're going a little bit more scientific with the process. But uh, so I would I would recommend looking at Attuned and we can share the link in, uh, in here. And you can also check Today's Mood. And what they do is it's an ongoing uh, assessment of the mood they have, like uh, they're also uh, just like assessing the mood of the, the employees on an ongoing basis. One of the co-founders is a psychologist. So he is coming from that. And uh, it's two, like with the, the number two days mood. Great, thank you, Mina and Johan. Uh, a couple more questions. Okay, in addition to LK Recruiter, what would be a good tool to source IT profiles? Uh, anyone have experience with IT profile sourcing? There's a few platforms online that are great for uh, technical talent uh, that like um, Andela uh, have like a really strong uh, technical network. There's a, there's a, a dependent on the um, region that you're in. Uh, we work with a few different companies that help with uh, like talent pools of technical talent. Um, my email address is tyatdeal.com. Feel free to shoot me a note and I, I can send you some that are relevant based on where you're based or where you're trying to hire people in. Yeah, great point, by the way. Um, feel free to connect with all of us on LinkedIn. So uh, feel free to you know add anybody on the panel. And if you have any direct questions, feel free to also ask them. Um, you know, I'll just read off the last, um, you know, a few more questions. I'm sure there's more, but uh, let's see if we can get them answered. And if not, then we want to thank everybody. Uh, so yeah, the last one, obviously it's not the last one, but one of the questions is, um, is there any platform you recommend that many of the HR and platform functions, including applicant tracking, uh, you know, preferences to have one tool that does many things. I think we already discussed this, so maybe we don't need to go into uh, details. Uh, but your next question is uh, your favorite tool for coding tests or for software developers. 
I don't know if anybody is uh, in the engineering team there here that hires, but. Nope. Uh, you can use HackerRank. HackerRank has been one of the tools that we have been only using. Uh, and they have like pre-built uh, assessments too. So that's uh, what has worked for us. Amazing. Okay, I want to take the opportunity to thank every one of you on the panel, everybody that attended today. Thank you so much for coming. We so uh, appreciate you and the questions you asked. It was really cool. Uh, we have another webinar coming on the 20th, so feel free to sign up for that. Uh, again, as I said, if you have more questions, uh, do let us know and uh, we would be happy to um, you know, answer them via LinkedIn. Uh, here's a quick QR code if you want to uh, either book a demo with Safety Wing uh, or check out our webinars um, hub. Thank you, Ty. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Johan. Ine. Appreciate it. Have a wonderful week ahead. Hope to see you soon in another panel. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.